Hey guys, Lawrence here, and welcome to a much sunnier than last week's Shed Talk. And this week has actually been relatively relaxed, because I've managed to get a fair ways ahead in terms of videos for you guys. So all of next week's videos are done, and I've got at least one or two of the scripts for the week after that done, because I think the week on after next is MCM weekend. So if you're going to London Comic Con on the weekend of the 24th or 25th or something like that, I can't quite remember, I'll be there, and I will have plenty of Day of Zidan comics. And I've also got a really interesting gig with the British Museum, and they've got a manga exhibit going on starting at the end of this month. So I'll be taking myself up with my vlogging camera, the old GoPro, and I will film something either for the main channel or second channel, because there's Dragon Ball manga content there that I might want to get a sneak peek at. I don't know which channel I'll put it on, but I'll see how things go. It just depends on how YouTube wants to be, because at the moment, it kind of just wants to be a bit of a silly goose, because I think most people that I'm subscribed to have had their subscribers go down for some reason. It was just like overnight. But to be honest, for my own sanity, I just don't look at the numbers anymore. So it doesn't really matter. So long as I'm just making the content, I'm getting myself into a good routine, Everything's hunky-dory, and so long as you guys are watching and you are giving your feedback, that is the main thing. But I suppose the main topic of this Shed Talk is, uh, marriage. As I alluded to last week, it's not something I ever expected to encounter. I was pretty much accepting in my early 20s that I would be on my own and single forever. But that turned out not to be the case ever since I met Philly nearly six and a half years ago. Actually, a little over six and a half years ago. Yeah. August 2012, I think. Yeah. No, that was all right. Yeah. I, I kept count. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's been a really big ride. And honestly, when I think prior to Massacre in 2011, early 2012, that's a completely different person, as far as I can tell. The only remnants I can see are the videos that I recorded back in the day, the old Anathal promos. I don't know whether I actually have those original videos anymore, but yeah, early 20s Marsico, I don't even recognise that person anymore. I realise I had quirks back then, but I like to think that I changed in some way, hopefully for the better. That's up to you, of course. But yeah. And a lot of people think that the guy doesn't necessarily do much in regards to the wedding preparation, but I've actually kind of embraced it. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really good because this is a big party. This is a big event where loads of people come to see and celebrate something. And you get to design things. You get to arrange stuff. You get to configure stuff. And I don't know whether Philly appreciates the fact that I get involved and get stuck in, but... You know, I am. I mean, there are some things that Philly does by herself. I mean, obviously, getting the dress, I'm not supposed to know about that. I've only got one clue, and that's what she told me, but I'm not telling you guys. You're going to have to wait until the time, if I choose to vlog that weekend, because, you know, there are going to be a lot of people to talk to over that weekend. Uh, yeah, I, I, it remains to be seen in that front whether you guys will get to see any of it. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that you will, because I want you guys to see it, especially since some of you have already graciously contributed to the Honeymoon Fund, you know, your names will be featured on a board at the wedding, as well as your messages being read out or showcased as well. So it won't be just like, oh, you're contributing and that's it. You also get to be shown to everyone who's there that you really helped us and you really made sure that this is something that, you know, we'll never forget. Um, Really appreciative of the people who have so far. And if you choose to do so now, then thank you in advance. But if you can't, due to various reasons, it doesn't matter. Your well wishes are more than enough. And the best thing about it is, is a lot of the stuff we've been able to do ourselves. We've made our own wedding favors. We designed our own wedding invitations and wax seals and all that kind of stuff. That was a lot of fun. And it saves a lot of money too. Um, I. We actually had a look at one of our friend's invitations and to order 125 of them designed based on a template that cost 250 pounds or maybe, I don't know, about 400 bucks, 350 bucks. Whereas we were able to design them ourselves, well, myself and feedback from Philly's parents and Philly, of course, and we were able to do it for 100 quid because we went through my merch supplier. 
that, that, that says a lot. And the wedding favors, we've not ordered them in, we've made them ourselves. I can assure you, it's something that's very Philly and I. And I did help, I helped, you know, stick down the thing. Uh, oh, I nearly let it slip there. But I suppose really, yeah, you can tell that I'm in a better mood than I was last week. And really it helps that the sunny weather has been really good. It's been really rainy the last couple of days, so I've really kept myself to themselves. And I mean, look, there's a little bit of greenery in the back of the shed. Yeah, it's been really fun getting involved and planning all of this stuff. You know, it's just sending out the invitations last week. Some of them have responded. I think some of the people in North America and, you know, the continent of Europe, you know, they, they've gotten theirs as well. That's a lot of fun as well. And, you know, and it's, it's really important as well because my uncle is the church warden or, you know, has been the church warden at the church that we're getting married at. We've fulfilled our qualifications there. We go to church every month, you know, it's just really nice. And also I get to see my aunt and uncle. I have seen them a lot more in the last few months than I have done in the last few years. And I'm, I'm glad of that. And I've learned a lot about my family history. So maybe I might showcase some of that in the future video or something like that. But a lot of things have come good after, you know, doing a lot of research for weddings and stuff. And yeah, it's only five months away and that's crazy. And we settled about maybe some ideas about our mini moon and then a bigger holiday next year. Maybe the Peak District, you yeah, know, something like that. Do a little bit of walking, something chill in the UK, followed by something a bit grander, say maybe Australia, New Zealand or something like that for our main honeymoon. We don't know. There is plenty of opportunities to be had. So I suppose the real thing I can contribute with all of this is that if you and your beau or belle are getting hitched in the not too distant future or you're considering it, you know, work together. This is something that I've learnt as well, and Philly has reminded me a lot of the time. You know, the groom should be able to, you know, have their own say as well, or one side, if one side, you know, is traditionally meant to take the reins, the other shouldn't just sit back and let the other do their thing. This is something that we've seen, because I watch Don't Tell the Bride, and I've seen Say Yes to the Dress a few times when Philly's just been bored, I've just casually seen it, you know. You do kind of pick things up. And I reminded myself of the Picard meme. I was just kind of like, oh, come on, you don't do it like that. You know, kind of like an armchair expert when it comes to not doing things or doing things that particular way. I've kind of picked things up you tend to. And I'm enjoying it. I really am. And it's, you know, it's a next step in the game of life, as it were. And another step that we had on the game of life is being woken up at weird hours by a crying thing and that crying thing being smoky and it turns out he really needed to go poop and uh yeah you know he, that was about 5 30 in the morning and you know at three you know we we managed to get our practice early but at least we're smoky if he needs something he will tell you you don't find a nasty surprise somewhere so i guess we're getting our our child care experience in advance thanks to our cat thank you smoky i guess yeah yeah i'm, I'm looking forward because this weekend we're meeting up with some friends and we're planning some various stuff as well and you know preparation for mcm has been going well as well so may is turning out to be quite a good month and even though youtube is being youtube or hashtag yt being yt and being silly in the way it does things. I, you know, I still feel pretty positive when it comes to the whole situation about what the channel is doing. I'm making content that I like making and I hope that you guys like watching it too. I will just keep on doing my thing and just, you know, if I have bad days, just suck it up and just get on with it. You know, don't worry about the algorithm. I try not to, even though statistics are my jam. But, you know, just rock with it. You know, this is my job. I'm, um, I'm an editor. So what I do for a YouTube channel is what I would be doing for someone else. So this is kind of my field. And I like doing it. It's been really good. And I know that one day it may stop. But for now, as Billy would say, make hay while the sun shines. And that's all I've got to say, really. Just rounding off a really nice, positive, sunny day here. And I think it's actually approaching the high 60s here, or like, you know, 19, 20 degrees. That's pretty cool. And um, I may be doing some, uh, a couple of um, convention appearances in the US and Canada in July. I will be going to AX with the TFS crew 
uh, the beginning of July, so I will be in America for Independence Day. So that'll be fun, going to visit LA and visit little Karibo, because he's one of our ushers, and yeah, we're going to get him his suit fitted. That'll be pretty fun. And then something in Canada at the end of July is in the works. I won't say what exactly, because it's in the early stages, but that's going to be cool. That'll be my first time kind of seeing a little bit of Toronto, maybe. That'll be cool. I'm looking forward to that. I flew through Toronto at one point to get to Detroit or something like that, but never really stuck around in Toronto. So hey, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll get to see some more of that city. But anyway, I'll leave you guys for now, and I hope you are having a good day yourself. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, and one is glad to be of service.